I'm going to apologize now for the loud breathing in the background of this video. My breathing hasn't been that good today. All right. We can see here that I have over 141,000 miles on this thing now. And I noticed that when this thing sits for over a day, which doesn't happen very often, but when it does, I get a very slow crank. And this is because of a dirty battery. And you might think, well, how can a dirty battery give you a slow crank? Well, if I take a multimeter, attach one lead to the negative side, then just start touching around this shit on the surface of the battery, you'll see that some spot will actually register a voltage. When a lot of shit builds up, that's a high, there's a high number right there, it's seven and a half volts. When you got a lot of corrosion and crap on the top of your battery, it will actually let a small amount of current flow across between the two terminals. So, to get rid of this corrosion, You get a mixture of baking soda and water, which I already prepared. And I've got this toothbrush, and it's soaked in it. Scrub all that corrosion. Rag, and I'm gonna clean all that shit off of there. See there's still more. Nasty. I got most of it off. So, I'm going to do a uh, voltage reading. Although it's a little damp, so I might have to wait till it dries. But let's see. Try to take another voltage reading. See what we get. Still voltage. Hold on. Got to dry it. Alright, now I got battery pretty much all clean. Get my meter out again. Set to DC volts. The negative lead on the negative terminal. Arrange it. As it's always set to auto range on this meter. And I'm looking in the same spots I was getting voltage before. I'm getting nothing now. So, before I had current flowing across here, and there was a load on it, so there was voltage dropping. I could read the voltage dropping in certain places where the current was flowing through all that corrosion. Now, there is no current flowing across it, so it's not slowly draining the battery anymore. And I don't have any corrosion on the terminals, so I don't need to worry about that. But if I did, I would use a wire brush to clean them out. There's also some contact cleaner you can get. But just little basic things you can do to keep give your battery a better life and not wind up stuck one morning if your car doesn't start because it completely discharged itself because of service discharge.